I didn't think we'd find out so much in Togetsu. This is all so unexpected. All we did was go to Togetsu, but it felt like such a long journey. Good work, everyone. That was a lot to take in. It's a bit difficult to accept it all. <sighs> but I'm glad we know now. The world we normally see is so small, but our horizons have expanded. And now it's clear that there's another world out there. I'm glad we're on better terms with Kasane, too. That's one less thing to worry about. Hey, everyone. About the Kunad Gate. How your power is affecting it? Oh, Haruka let me see Seiron's investigation into it, but the results were the same. At least we know it really is, well, getting bigger. What if Yuito doesn't use his power? If he avoids combat, for instance? No, I looked at the Kunad Gate investigation papers as well. At this point, I couldn't really find a link between Yuito's specific actions and the Gate's expansion. What? So it doesn't have anything to do with Yuito? No. You could say that just the existence of his power is affecting it. It's pretty much safe to assume that the Gate will continue to expand as long as Yuito lives. Right. I am sorry for how that sounded. But it's probably best that you know since it does concern you. No, I'm glad you told me. Nothing will change if I try to ignore it. If it's like you say, then I don't need to worry about staying out of fights, do I? We do not know all the details about the Kunat Gate. But I think that is correct. What are you thinking, Yuito? I want to ask you all a favor. What is it? After hearing all that in Togetsu, I'd be lying if I said I didn't think that killing me was the only option for us now. But there are still things I need to do. Things I need to learn. We can never say for certain that there is no other way unless we search for one. Just like we didn't know about the moon until we went to Togetsu, there might be a way to stop the gate that we don't know about yet. I'm sure Kasane had the same idea, and that's why she stopped trying to kill me. So... I want you to help me think of a way to get rid of the Kunad Gate. <laughs> you had me a little anxious for a moment. Of course we'll help you. Gemma's right. That was the plan all along. Don't forget about my info network. I'll find out even the most secret information. This isn't just your problem. No matter what's going on with the world, you have to remember we're a team. There has to be a way. And I know we'll find it if we look together. We have to save both you and the whole world. You guys... I thought you'd say that, but I guess I was a little worried. So... Thank you. Humans came from the moon, and the Earth is going extinct. It's so much at once that my head is spinning. We have to understand it all, though, so we can keep moving forward.
Hey, there you are, Yuito. Have you come to request a lesson from the Master of Fun? No. You said you'd be expecting me, so I felt bad ignoring you. So you say, but you know you're ready to learn. There's no need to be embarrassed. Now, let's go to town. Ugh. Really? Don't look so down from the start. If you want to have fun, you have to enjoy it. I showed up like you told me to. I just don't feel comfortable having fun when we have so many other matters to take care of. Listen up. This isn't just hanging out. This is a well-prepared, essential lesson to save you from imminent disaster. Disaster? There's a limit to how long you can live being that stiff. The more serious you are, the bigger the damage when it all comes crashing down. So I'm not telling you to totally change, but some coaching on how to loosen up a little will definitely do you some good. Hmm. All right, you win. And I guess I do need a break. Okay, it's decided then. I'll show you all the best places in Seiron to have fun. Huh? Hey, wait a second! All right, next up, karaoke! What, don't tell me you're tired already. Ugh, I'm totally beat. You said all the best places, but I didn't actually think you'd drag me all over town. Oh, jeez. Let's sit down over there, then. Thank God. <sighs> you really are used to this. You enjoy life, huh? That's because it's a waste to not enjoy it. Maybe you're right. Maybe I should learn how to be carefree like you. Well, it's not exactly being carefree. And to be completely honest with you, life isn't really all it's cracked up to be. So, I enjoy life by escaping reality. I guess you could say it's a diversion to make me forget. When you say it like that, it kind of makes it sound like today was a waste of time. Sorry about that, but wasn't it a nice break? I do feel a little loosened up. Which means you need to escape reality sometimes. Especially someone like you who has to deal with a lot of problems. What problems are you dealing with then? It's obvious you're trying to escape from something, too. I don't have any problems. I'm just the easygoing guy you know and love. I really doubt that. Immigrating from the moon and living for 2,000 years here on Earth has got to be a roller coaster of a life. I'm sure you have a lot of memories, both good and bad. You must have a lot of stuff on your mind. All right, all right, enough about me already. We're here to relieve your stress today. Come on, next place. Okay. You dodged the question. It's probably safe to assume that something really is bothering him. I can't even begin to imagine what kind of life he's lived. And I can't help but wonder what his true feelings are.
This might not come out right, but it's more fun living in the unit than I thought. It's a little inconvenient, though. Yeah, but everyone in our platoon is nice, and I'm always with you. I hope we can keep fighting together. Being with you makes me feel... safe. childhood friends. Yuito, this is perfect. Will you accompany me to the gym? Yeah, sure. Are we lifting weights? If so, why don't we invite Gemma? I'd like to keep it the two of us today. There is something I wish to confirm with you. Uh, okay. So, what do you want to confirm? This isn't like a strength test. No, we are not here to train. I brought you here because there's no one around, making it perfect for us to talk alone. Is something wrong? Remember when we went to the old OSF hospital? Yeah, that was a rough day. Did you hear the researchers talking about my brother and me? Oh, well, uh... You're as bad at lying as ever. So you know then, that my brother and I were duds. Yeah, I didn't say anything because I thought it would bother you. I see. Uh, thank you for your concern. He won't look at me. Maybe he didn't want me to know. How did you know that I knew? After we returned to the hideout from the old OSF hospital, you told everyone that you were a dud. Your face changed when you looked at me. That made me believe that perhaps you knew. Oh. You could see it on my face. Sorry. Don't be. It was inevitable that you would find out. I am curious, though. Why did you feel it was necessary to tell everyone that you were one? Um... It's a handicap to be a dud in this world. I fail to see how that knowledge being public would help you. Well, I didn't think that any of you would treat me differently just because I said I was a dud. And everyone reacted just like I thought they would. It made me realize there's a lot of good in my life. I don't think anyone would care if you told them. I don't agree. Luca. Unlike you, I've lived knowing the burden of being a dud. I may be a Septentrion, but my power was implanted through experiments. I wasn't born with it. It could suddenly disappear one day. And when that happens, the public will turn on me. That's the fear I've always lived with. I can't just change and become carefree like you. No matter what the public thinks, you're still Luca. You've been fighting in the OSF for so long. You work harder than anyone else and achieved a lot. That won't change no matter what people say. You are strong. Your strength lies in the fact that you can say that. But I am not like you. Or my brother. I am not strong enough to fight against the tide. Luca. This is who I am. Please, promise me. Please don't tell anyone that I am a dud. Okay. I promise I won't. Thank you. And that's all I wanted to talk about. I'm going back now. I am counting on you. Don't worry. I'll keep my promise. He looked worried. I know the secret he kept for so many years. Maybe me promising isn't enough. No, 
I just have to work to make sure he's not threatened. I'll keep my word, no matter what. You're working very hard, Yuito. You think so? Thanks. <laughs> You're gentle, earnest, and straightforward. It makes me a little jealous. I can't be like you, and I don't have to. But I still recognize your good qualities. actually thinking the same thing. I think we can be better friends. Yuito, do you have a moment? Yeah, what is it? That white flower. The silent snow melt. Something about it has me curious. Did you find something out? I'm not positive yet, but remember when we climbed Hiano Mountain? Yeah, it was cold there. Walking through the snow was tough too. That mountain is the perfect place for the silent snow melt to grow, I think. You did say something about that flower blooming on cold mountains, didn't you? Yeah, so I'm going to go. You're going to go where? To Hiano Mountain. What? You're going to Hiano Mountain by yourself to look for that flower? I won't just look for it. I'll bring it back. I will show you that flower. No, that's way too dangerous. It's a steep mountain, and there are others there. I can't let you do it. It's fine. I can fight. I've been fighting longer than you. That's true, but going alone is a bit... <sighs> Are you absolutely set on going? Yes. Even if you try to stop me. You're kind of... No, you're really stubborn. Alright, I'm going with you. What? But... It's no use. I'm going, even if you try to stop me. <laughs> okay, then we'll go together. Yeah. To Hiano Mountain. cold here. The flower we're looking for is probably higher up. Yeah, we might have to go to the summit. This climate isn't its natural environment. Okay, let's go to the summit then. begins to burn with fire, it'll drain your health, so be careful. Here we go! That attack worked! That must be a weak spot. That one explodes. Don't get too close to it. Watch your step here. Earthine, you should be careful. 
Drop something rare. Here we go. This is pretty rare. Now. Do it, 
Wow. Looks like you were right after all. So, where is it? Close by. Wait. Oh, oh no. What? What do you see? An other is walking near the flowers. It'll crush them. Let's hurry. No. I guess we can't just shoo it away. Watch out. Here it comes. Get ready to fight! Understood. Great! Take down the real one and the dummy will disappear. Give me some, figure it out. Lend me your eyes. should do it. Are the flowers okay? They were trampled. They're almost all crushed. If we had only found them sooner. It looks like almost half of them are still fine to me. I saw below the ground with my clairvoyance. The stems are broken and the roots are twisted. They're all hurt. No way. Not even a single one survived? Some are just weak. I think they'll recover. It will take time, though. I see. Well, at least we saved them from being completely wiped out. But... I don't know what to do. I plan to bring the flowers back with me. Will they just wilt if you bring them down from the mountain like this? With the right nutrients, they'll be fine. I've thought about how to cultivate them, so I'm pretty confident. 
But the environment I'd be growing them in would be harsh for them. I'm not sure if it's the right thing to do. You're such a kind person. Would you be opposed to the idea of just leaving these flowers here? This is the best environment for them, so they'll be healthy here. But you like these flowers. Are you sure? Just the fact that I was able to see them blooming makes me happy. And you worked hard for that to happen. So, what do you think? I... If the flowers are happy, I don't want to ruin that. Okay. Let's go then. Yeah. <sighs> hey. How come you wanted to bring the flowers back with you? Huh? Oh, um... It's a rare flower, so I wanted to try to grow it myself. So a little intellectual curiosity then? Guess you're like a botanist. When I grow a new plant, it's like I get a new friend. It makes me happy. I see. Well, now you have a long distance friend. We should come visit the flowers again. Sure. Um, and... Hmm? Was there another reason? N no, it's nothing. Oh. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There's obviously another reason. Ah, uh, now I really want to know what it is. But it's not like I can force her to tell me. Well, I'm sure she'll tell me eventually. We should get back to the hideout and get some rest. The flowers I planted before are about to bloom. When they do, I want to show you, Yuito. I'm looking forward to it. You're good at taking care of plants. You're good at taking care of me. You're good at taking care of people. Huh? Really? Oh man, you're making me blush. Say something? Just let me know when you want to talk.